check out that guy. That guy is the epitome of commitment. Right now the the air temperature is about 55 degrees and the water temperature, I don't know, but if the, if the water temperature is 60, that's, that's pretty close to freezing. And what I mean is when you get in the water, it pretty much feels like freezing ice cold water, even though it's not 36 degrees. All these guys out here surfing, I admire their commitment because they're like, the waves are high and now's the time. It's about 5.56 in the evening right now. The sun has just set basically. But uh, for me to be out here jogging on the beach is like nothing in 50 degree weather compared to these guys. I wonder if the water actually feels warm compared to the air temperature. You know, sometimes the air temperature gets so cold, but the water temperature stays relatively warm, like say maybe 75 or 70. And the water actually feels warmer than the air temperature, so I don't know. I've, I tried doing this once when I was uh, about 10 years back. About 10 years ago, I had a friend named Morris who has since passed away. And I tried doing this surfing thing on the rocks right now and uh, I was not good I didn't have the patience for learning how to surf it's very very uh, endurance very much an endurance sport because you have to pass the waves are starting to come in the winds pushing the waves this way look at those waves once they splash the winds blowing them like right into me because the winds blowing this way anyway I, I just admire their perseverance because they're not being deterred by darkness or the waves or the wind or the temperature. It's pretty awesome. These guys are Iron Men. And so I thought, hey, I'm like, aren't I cool? I'm out here jogging on the beach and it's like 52 degrees. And by the way, like in, in Florida, 52 degrees is basically like the equivalent of 20 degrees up north because we're not used to these cold temperatures. A lot of surfers, a lot of guys over here too. Yeah, so I tried, I tried doing this. I hope I don't slip. This is not a good idea. Walking on these rocks while I'm trying to vlog. I tried doing this like 10 years ago, but it was during the day, and we go out here and surf. I had, a, I had my wetsuit, and then we come back to this hotel right here, and we jump in the, um, the hot sauna right there, and get warm for about 15, 20 minutes, and we go back out. I could never get up, but maybe that's one of the things I might try this year. If I can. The waves keep coming in. Maybe I'll try to do, uh, try to get, find somebody that has a surfboard. This rock is not stable. Anyway, I need to get off these rocks before I fall or something bad happens. Anyway, from my limited knowledge of surfing, they're waiting for a good set of waves. That one was pretty good. There's a guy getting up right there on a wave board or whatever you call it, paddle board. But there's like a certain art, I think. Oh, that wave was pretty big. There's a certain art. That guy's getting up right there. There you go. He's catching a wave right there. Unfortunately, it's like they're right coming right into the rocks here. Because I guess this is where the waves are breaking. They're not breaking right over there. But you want to wait for those right set of waves. And you just sometimes you just have to be really patient and sit on your board. I was not very good at that either. Either, either the surfboard I had really was terrible. But I found it the hardest thing is like to balance on the surfboard. I don't know if it was like I had too small a board for my weight or something. I don't know. It's not it's not as easy as it looks, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I spent most of the day putting up shelves, vacuuming, cleaning, trying to like figure out a way to organize. Uh, I got some shelves from somebody's, uh, somebody was throwing out a bookshelf. So I took the bookshelf and I repurposed it into just freestanding shelves and brackets. Anyway, yeah. <clears throat> Part of my part of my 2017 is to try and challenge myself to just sort of uh, not get in that rut of doing the same thing every day. You know, go to the beach, jog, come home, do this. Try to break it up. So I decided to come out tonight, brave the weather, brave the weather. Look at this. This place has got red lights all the way around the apartment. I don't know if that was like because of Christmas. Most people have like a. You know what it might be because of the turtles. That place has got orange lights, like or yellowish, like amber. Uh, there is sea turtle nesting out here, and they try to. Uh, I think there's a law actually where the lights have to be some kind of 
shielded or something like this light this light is shielded from the beach and I think it has something to do with the, the sea turtles seeing the light they come toward the light when they come to lay their eggs or they don't come to the light or something happens it's pretty windy also when I was coming over the bridge on my motorcycle in 50 degrees it was blowing like 20 miles an hour 25 miles an hour felt like sideways that's what I hate the worst if it's blowing toward me or behind me that's fine but when you're on a motorcycle your bike tends to get blown and you feel like you're like leaning into the wind and it's kind of scary when you get these big gusts I don't know I've never been blown off of a motorcycle but I guess it could happen if it blew fast enough it could I don't know I don't want to know what would happen anyway so the last couple hours it hasn't been raining so I said I need to get out I didn't yesterday I was uh, I didn't get out running and I, I feel like I really miss it <laughs> I guess I'm like addicted to running. Just something about, it drives me crazy not to be able to get out and just go out in some nature or come out somewhere and just sort of see some sky and some sun. I guess it's something to do with that. It's something that I need. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Addicted to running. And it's not like I run 10 miles or anything like that. I just run a couple miles maybe. But... It's getting pretty dark. I, on camera it doesn't show up that way, but you can see all these dark clouds. I'm starting to get, I'm surprised my camera, my camera doesn't shoot, this phone doesn't shoot well in low light, but right now, for whatever reason, I guess I changed some settings or something, it's shooting well. And uh, I heard the Carolinas are gonna get a lot of snow up north there. It's gonna get very cold. So we're getting, I think the whole East Coast is getting like this big, snow uh, cold front yeah cold front we're not getting snow you're getting snow up north we're not getting snow at all my hands are starting to freeze too my hands get cold really easily for some reason in my ears that's why I always got this thing on because my ears get cold really fast like if I yeah if I didn't have this thing on my ears would be turning blue they would be like frozen for some reason like I don't know if it's like a circulation thing or your ears don't have any blood vessels I don't know what that is anyway we have a lot of sea turtles and you can see this light has a guard on it I don't know if you can tell but around that light there's like a guard so it, so I guess from the beach it doesn't show it just shines down so I wonder if there's any restrictions out here. I know certain beaches, they have really big restrictions on the lighting. It has to be, how's it going? It has to be. The guy and his kid just sort of hanging out. I think we still have a lot of people vacationing out here from the holidays. I don't know if people, did people take off like New Year's week and then the week after that too? Cause it's like the sixth or something today, isn't it? So it's been, this is the week after New Year's must be great to be able to take off like two weeks during New Year's pretty awesome you can tell the lights getting a little dimmer now yeah since I'm behind the trees so I just want to encourage you guys or all of us together as a team let's try some new things this year let's tr let's get out and just uh, sort of shake things up and uh, I'm just trying to push myself sort of just uh, you know get a new attitude I get really bored really easy doing the same thing a lot. Look at this, uh, look at that uh, sky. I, I don't know if the sun is down yet or not, but the sky is still kind of light over there. All those dark clouds. See, there's some light there. Anyway, I just wanted to shoot sort of something reasonably quick. <laughs> quick for me is like 10 minutes, but it's been a good week. And I'm, uh, I'm hanging in there since the holidays are sort of passed. I think the holiday blues is starting to wane away. And it seems like I'm getting things accomplished. I'm sort of getting my energy back. I feel like I have more energy when I go out and jog now. That's where before I was like, I had to drink some coffee or take some caffeine or something just to get out. So it's funny how that like depression can affect you physically. And I heard somebody say that on TV the other day, like postpartum depression when you have babies. You're really tired a lot, just tired, tired, tired. And so now it's getting really windy. Anyway, I'm looking forward to getting home. My girlfriend bought some Chinese food. She says she's bringing home Chinese food. So it makes you feel good to be out in the cold, then come home and really, really appreciate how warm your house is and getting a hot shower and just 
putting on your pajamas. I'm gonna put on my Star Wars pajamas when I get home. My uh, my grandkids got me some uh, Stormtrooper pajamas. I'll have to Instagram a picture picture of that. They're pretty cool looking. It's got a bunch of Star Wars helmets all over it, or uh, Stormtrooper helmets. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. I'm, I need to go put my gloves on and go home and get by the toasty space heater. Hope you guys are doing well. Stay warm. We'll see you tomorrow or the next day or whenever the next vlog is. Have a great one. Thank you.